three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey guys, it's Ben with Upcountry Electric. We've got another trouble call today. Uh, tank level sensor is apparently not working. It's showing on their display all kinds of wild levels rising and falling erratically. So it sounds like just a submersible level transducer has gone bad. So I got a spare and we'll head out, figure out what's wrong with it. Probably end up replacing it. All right, I'll see you there. All right, we're connected to the PLC. Um, want to see WX0. There's really not much going on here. RX0 is our scaled output. Yeah, and it's bouncing quite a bit. Let's just pull up a data window. WX0 should be our raw input. Yep. And RX0. That's our scaled output. And yeah, it's bouncing quite a bit. So yeah, it's bouncing quite a bit there. 10,000 to 12,000, 36, 35, 40, sometimes higher. So what I need to do is differentiate, is basically identify, is this problem coming from the sensor in the tank, or is this problem native to the PLC? and its input. So what I'll do is hook up my 4 to 20 milliamp generator. If I can give it a solid rock steady 4 to 20 milliamp signal and the PLC sees a solid signal then I know that the problem is the transducer and not um, the analog input or the PLC itself. Because What I don't want to do is just change out the transducer only to find out that the problem that we're seeing persists. So I'll get my 4 to 20 milliamp generator and uh, hook it up and we'll see if this uh, value stabilizes. All right, so I got this hooked up. Instead of the transducer, we can go to output. And then uh, at four milliamps, we're sitting right at 6,600 and 0 0.7. We'll jump it up to eight milliamps. So that's a rock solid eight milliamps. And the input is staying right at 59 and 13,000. 50% is 12 milliamps. We're up to 117 and 19,000, 75, 175 and 26,000, and 231. Yeah, rock solid. So to me, because I can give it a solid signal and it's not bouncing all over the place from this, that means our problem is the transducer in the tank. So I got that junction box there. And then I think there's another junction box on top, so I'll start climbing and pulling out cable and get to do the fun part, change the transducer. All right, here we go. Okay, here's our new transducer. Zero to 15. So all we gotta do is climb up there and cut off the old one and attach it and then come down here and pull them through. We'll get an idea how bad it is once we get up there. All right, made it through. Nice.
All right, so we're gonna put our breather tube on here. That's good. What this does is wicks, wicks any moisture out of the whole run, the whole tube. There we go, he's ready. So now we can just terminate him, set up our scaling. We should be good to go. Okay. And now, okay. should be able to see the program. Got a signal, but I know it's not the scale because the old transducer had a scale of zero to ten uh, feet. Yeah, this one was zero to ten psi. The new one is zero to fifteen psi. So fix that. Go up here into system configuration, local I/O, analog inputs and outputs and then right there so here's our raw min and our raw max and our scaled min and our scaled max so it looks like they're turning it into feet because uh, our old max is 231 so one if you look at the tank one foot of water no 2.31 feet of water equals one pound per square inch. So if we take uh, 15, if we take 10 PSI and multiply it by 2.31 feet per PSI, you'll get 23.1 feet at 10 PSI. Our new sensor's max is 15 PSI. So it would be 15 PSI times 2.31, and that'll give us our maximum feet. So I just use a calculator. 15 times 2.31, it's 34.65 feet. We can just come in here, and let's just change it to 34.6. So they're just using three whole numbers, and that'll work. Okay, real quick. Okay, okay, and then we're gonna write to PLC. Okay, very good. Okay, let's just double check that configuration stayed. Nope, 34.6, perfect. So what that means is we can take our RX0 and just use the first two digits. So there's 11 and a half feet of water in the tank right now because it's turning it into 115, 1.5. So we can look at the tank and our operator wants to know Our operator wants to know how tall the tank is because he's new for this system. And rather than measuring from the top, I'm just going to measure these bands and then count the rings. So they're about 18 inches each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen to the overflow. And again, it's late in the day, so I'm going to use a calculator. 16 times 18 inches is 288 inches. Divided by 12, it's about 24 feet tall. You can see that overflow pipe up there. Yeah, you guys can see that right up there. So that's probably at 23, but the tank's about 24 feet tall. I'm going to let him know. It's looking good. Everything's back online. Tank is about 24 feet tall. You have 11 and a half feet of water in the tank. Perfect. All right. So 
We got the trouble isolated to the transducer. We got the new transducer in. The signal is holding real state one solid. We close the lid. We close the JB on top. We close the JB on the side. We just need to button up these control panels. Clean up this mess. And then I'm on to one last trouble call. But otherwise, see you guys on the next one.